My name is uh, John Cleefield. I'm a retired radiologist uh, who spent 46 years looking at people's brains and spines and teaching students at Harvard Medical School. But my real dream had to wait to be realized until that career was done. And I was fortunate enough to come to this magical place which you must see and hear at your earliest possible moment, the Hanover Theater. This is the absolute fulfillment of a dream that I've had all of my life, to be seated at the console of an instrument of this quality, distinction, power, and subtlety, and then to have it placed in an ideal acoustical environment, this beautifully restored theater, which really puts the finishing touches on this instrument. That's my dream throughout my life, and it's been realized by being able to be here. The theater organ was developed as a means to provide musical accompaniment for films which were originally called silent, but because there was always music accompanying those films, they really never were silent. Music was realized from the very beginning as a means to propel and support a storyline. And the theater organ evolved as an instrument to be able to fulfill those expectations. Uh, a church organ still lies at the core of the theater organ, that is both make most of their sounds by wind-blown pipes, pipes which require air, to cause resonance within them and create not only various pitches of sound, but qualities of sound. Where the theater organ diverged from the church organ, or I should say evolved, was the addition of a number of percussion type instruments, such as drums, cymbals, and tuned percussion, such as xylophones, marimbas, glockenspiels, in order to be able to provide that extra sparkle or rhythmic emphasis, which is not something normally found in a church organ. And to hear a real fine Wurlitzer pipe organ or one of the other manufacturers, but particularly Wurlitzer, in prime condition is likely to blow your socks off if you've never heard one. Not because it's loud, but because the quality of sound, the dynamic range particularly, to go from the softest whisper to the loudest roar is something that a fine instrument is capable of producing.